Hi, in this video I'm going to explain Udim in Substance Painter. In the previous video I created a UV map using the Udim method in Maya. You can watch that tutorial first, the video is here and it's also in the description below. If I open the UV editor I can see three tiles. If you are using another software to create a UV map, it's not so different from Maya. First I need to create a material for the model since I want to send it to Substance Painter. Right click and select Design New Material and choose Lambert from the list. Right click again and select Material Tributes. Change its name. This material is the model ID in Substance Painter. Select the whole model and then press File and then Export Selection. I need a name and then I'll export it. The file type is FBX. Substance Painter select File and then New. Leave the template and press the Select button. Then select your FBX model. The maximum resolution is active for my project and I'll leave the normal map on OpenGL. DirectX inverts normal colors. The next important section is UDIM. Press Use UV tile to activate it. The first method is active by default. Leave it and don't select the legacy option. Press OK to create the project. Alright, go to display settings and in the camera section increase the focal length value. It's the lens size and I can see the scene and dragon better, especially at closer distances. In the texture set you can see the material that I have created in Maya. And underneath it I have the UV tiles with numbers or 1000. If you press F1 you can see the UVs. The first tile starts from 1001. Press F2 to return to the 3D view. While the dragon layer is selected, delete the default paint layer. Press the bucket icon to create a fill layer. Go to the bottom and select the color channel by pressing Alt and left click. Then choose a color. Now the whole mesh is colored, but I only want to apply the color to the head. Press this button and then select 1001. It's the first or head tile. Also, when you hover over the mouse, uh, you'll see the tile preview. Click the layer to revert to the default. Now the layer is applied only to the head. I want to apply the second layer for the head. I need a base color, just like before. And follow the same process, but select 1002. Let's also work with a paint layer. The color is selected by default. Leave the color as white. Let's paint on the model without considering the tile numbers. Ok, select the head tile for it and as you can see half of the line is removed. In the next step I am going to use a folder. Create a folder. And drag all the layers under the folder. Then select the tile number for it. Now everything is limited to the head tile. Alright, let's create real textures. These are my normals and displacements. I've exported these textures from ZBrush, but you may use other software such as Blender. Please note, you need to name the textures like this. 1001 for the first tile and the second is 1002 and so on. Substance Painter can read the Udim only with this method. Let's drag the textures in. Let's 
Select the texture type for all the textures. As you can see, I have only one texture, but with the label free on it. It means three tiles. To use it, go to the settings tab. And in the normal map section, drag the textures onto it. Now the normal map is applied to all the tiles. The details are perfect when using Udem. Press Bake Mesh Maps to create other textures such as Occlusion, Cavity and so on. In this window, select all the textures except for the normal map. In the comment settings, select 4K for resolution. Select Use low poly since we want to use the current model as the reference. Finally, go to the curvature and change the method to normal map. Because I don't want to use the high poly mesh to create the curvature map. Press Alt and left click on the dragon layer to select only this layer. Finally, press bake textures. Ok, all the textures are ready and applied automatically to the model. Let's create the texture. I'm going to use one of my smart materials. Drag it onto the dragon material. Ok, the layers are too messy and I need to work on each one individually. I want to activate the head tile for this material later. Creating this material again from scratch could waste my time. If you enjoyed this tutorial up to this point, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Ok, the layer is ready, select the head tile for it. Now I need to duplicate it using Ctrl D to create it for the other tiles. Creating another skin material for the other tiles is easy and only a few small changes are needed. I need another copy for the last tile. Ok, the textures are ready. Let's export them. Press File and then Export Textures. In this window, only select the dragon material by pressing Alt and left click on it. The template is good. Don't change it. You can see the texture list here. And then select PNG type for the texture. PNG has good quality. And finally select 4K. You can ignore this stage, but I want to do it for sure. Here I have the textures. Each tile separated with a number or 1000. With using Udem, you can achieve higher quality textures and it's one of the secrets of high quality renders. In the next tutorial, I'll explain about Udem in Blender. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments.